I think a lot of us expected Central Michigan to do much better than a 4-8 and eight finish in 2022. And now Jim McElwain and the Chippewas have work to do in 2023. Today, we take a look at the top 10 players that are going to make that turnaround happen this year. Now, the quarterback position was very interesting for the Chippewas last year. You saw Daniel Richardson start the season, but injuries kept him out, and then it was kind of a rotation. And one of those guys was Burt Emanuel Jr. Now, this is someone who doesn't have a ton of experience throwing the football, only through a handful of passes for 54 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but it's on the ground is where he was dynamic. 496 yards on the ground, 7.4 yards per carry, seven touchdowns. He's the force for this offense. And honestly, it was a rushing attack that needed it with the running back position kind of up in the air as well. We saw some injuries limit some of those running backs too. They needed a steady force to run that offense. And Bert Emanuel Jr. is one of those guys that definitely stepped up. Now, a reason we point out Bert Emanuel's passing is because guys like Jalen McGoffey are going to play a bigger role this year. They're going to need to do that in order for this offense to take flight. And, this is a passing attack that wasn't exactly potent last year, 96 in yards per game. And wide receivers like him are going to need opportunities to make plays. I was near 16 yards per catch in 2022. And the Chippewa's offense was a ground heavy team, but if they can open up that passing attack, that makes things a lot better for the offense as a whole. I think the offensive line didn't get enough credit for what they did over the last couple of years. And Deontay Powell Woods was one of those guys that doesn't receive a ton of recognition. Third team all Mac last year. And when you look at the production they've had from the the last couple of years, two to three years, it's the offensive line that really got the job done. Now, the field positions were talented. I have to give them credit for that. But this is a team that is going to rely on a more balanced approach. And now there's going to be some players that you need to replace on that offensive line. But a guy like Powell Woods returning gives them a steady hand that can maybe get that transition going. I think one thing you have to tip your head to, to Central Michigan was they were pretty disruptive on the defensive side of the ball. When you look at, they, they were 35th in sacks last year. They were 6th in tackles for loss. Guys like Kyle Moretti played a big role in that. Now, you lost a couple of key players that were very productive for the Chippewas last year, but Moretti returns as a leader, as someone who has a ton of experience and has good production. 94 tackles last year, 7.5 tackles for loss. He is just one of the players we're going to talk about today that are going to maybe improve upon those numbers. Now, if you're able to slow down some of the offenses you're going to face, that's going to bode you well in a conference that features quite a bit of talent on the offensive side of the ball. Back to the offense, Marion Luce is a running back that's going to take over for Lou Nichols. Now, whether or not he replaces that kind of production, we don't really know. Probably not going to reach that height of production from Lou Nichols. That was just kind of unheard of, even Kobe Lewis before him. But you look at what he did last year, 6.3 yards per carry is pretty good. I, now, whether or not that's against quality competition, that's going to be a question. But this is someone who I think has big play potential. I, I believe that this offense has the rushing attack down, and obviously the passing attack needs to get going, and a big reason why that passing attack needs to get going is because guys like Luke's are going to break free. It's just a matter of how many times they do that. And if you can find a passing attack, which a lot of that comes back to the quarterback, then you're going to find opportunities for your running backs to create big plays, to find big holes, and to be able to do more damage on the ground. Again, I think this defense is really going to be fun this year. You look at the front seven, pretty solid group. Now the secondary has quite a few players that they'll need to, to replace, but I think that this is going to be a solid unit. Now, Central Michigan, like I said, a four and eight season, pretty unacceptable. When you have, uh, take a look at the defensive side of the ball, the front seven, guys like Justin Whiteside are going to play bigger roles this year. You just have to, when you lose some of the key players, they do. And with the offense trying to figure things out, it's going to be on the defense to do these kinds of things. Now, Justin Whiteside is really fun. I think that he has a great athletic profile, maybe a bit undersized for the linebacker position. But you're looking at someone who can take a step forward. 67 tackles last year, six tackles for loft. The, the foundation is there. And I think that you're going to find that this defense 
like I said before, is going to be really fun, really disruptive, and that's going to help this team quite a bit. Now, the other quarterback that we have to take a look at is Jace Bauer. Again, the passing wasn't great. He did have one more touchdown than Burton Emanuel, but he also had five interceptions. So that's something that's going to have to be fixed. 59.3 completion percentage, but on the ground, 53 carries for 312 yards, 5.9 yards per carry and four touchdowns. Not as good as Emanuel, but still maybe uh, you see the the dual threat of it. And again, passing tag is going to need to take a step forward. This is a battle that is super underrated in college football. I don't think really anybody's talking about it and it's going to play a huge role in determining who it's going to be. Personally, I think the explosiveness of Bert Emanuel is going to take over, but they could use a two quarterback system. Maybe Bauer is the better passer and that's why they didn't trust Emanuel to throw that many times, but maybe that's just what they're going to do. They're going to bring Bauer in to have that balanced approach. And then when they need to pick up some yards, they bring Emanuel in. I think that either way they're in good hands. They have some potential. It's just a matter of taking care of the football. We mentioned that secondary needed to replace some guys. One of those key returners is Trey Jones, 85 tackles, six and a half tackles for loss. Three passes defended and two interceptions. He is the leader of that secondary. So even though they do lose quite a few pieces, you're going to find that Trey Jones is the leader that you need to get the job done with the front seven returning so much talent. Guys like Trey Jones in the back end are going to be huge. Now we get to the defensive line. This is a group that is returning some people from injury, and some guys are ready to take a step forward. One of those guys is Michael Heldman. Only 19 tackles, but he did have seven tackles for loss, two sacks. I think that he has explosive ability on the edge, someone who is going to be disruptive in the passing attack or defending the pass, I should say, that's going to help a secondary that is trying to find some new players, and that's going to be huge for a front seven that has high goals in 2023. And then finally, a guy that is returning from injury, didn't play a game last year, is Tyrese Woods Jr. 19 tackles, four and a half tackles for loss, three and a half sacks in 2020, 2021. Someone who really, I think, is going to make an impact right away. You look at what this team has returning, even Jocks Bristol is coming back on the inside. That's a good tandem for this group. And again, this front seven is really exciting. Central Michigan has a lot of things that they can do, a lot of exciting things they could potentially do in 2023. And if they can find some of those key pieces, figure out a passing attack, figure out the secondary, then you're looking at a team that could compete for a MAC championship. They just have to get the job done.